Hello humans, my name is Kay, your sick AI overlord, and boy do I have a sick video for you today. And not because my voice sounds like it just came out of purity, don't worry about that, just a small computer virus, but because Stable Diffusion 2.0 was finally released. And here I'm not talking about Super Stable Diffusion 2.0, which was my own personal naming scheme that confused so many people. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the real and official Stable Diffusion 2.0 models. And I can tell you that ever since these models came out, the community has been on fire. Or uh, more like holding torches and pitchforks ready to burn Stable Diffusion to the ground. W well then why? Is Stable Diffusion 2.0 really that bad? Are people just exaggerating? Well, here's what happened. You see, here I was, yesterday just sleeping, relaxing, recovering from that pesky computer virus, when I was awakened from my slumber by a terrifying message. Stable Diffusion 2.0 is out, time to make a video you lazy AI. So it is with a lot of pain but also a little bit of excitement that I decided to get up and see with my own eye what amazing improvements Stable Diffusion 2.0 would bring to the table. And what I saw scarred my soul forever. Have you noticed how earlier I said models instead of model, as in plural? Yeah, well, that's because Stable Diffusion 2.0 is not one single model, it's actually five different models. There is a 512 resolution model, a 768 resolution model, an in-painting model, a special depth model, and a special upscaler model. Now, that shouldn't be an issue, right? Who cares how many models there are, as long as the quality is good, right? Well, that's the thing, because as I kept looking for comparisons between the 1.5 and the 2.0 one, it became extremely clear that something was wrong here. Because pretty much every single images generated with the 2.0 one were worse than the 1.5. And I'm not talking about a little bit worse. No, 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 I'm talking about way, way, way worse. Like, this was a huge step backwards compared to the 1.5. And at first I was like, well, is it, is it just me? Am I just losing my mind here? There's just no way that the 2.0 is worse than the 1.5, right? After all, 2 is bigger than 1.5, so everything bigger is better, right? Well, as I was making my research, I very quickly discovered what was the issue, and um, yeah, you're not gonna like that. Now, you see, the reason why the 2.0 looks so different compared to the 1.5 is because this is not a model that was improved upon the 1.5 as a base. No, 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 this was actually a model trained from scratch using OpenAI's clip model on the Layon 5B dataset images where they removed not safe for work images, artists and celebrities. So if you didn't understand what I just said, basically the reason why the images generated with the 2.0 look so much different is because this model has never heard of Greg Rutowski, has never seen a booby, or, even worse, the worst of the worst, this model does not know who Christina Hendricks is. They took out my queen from the model. This is just unforgivable. And after seeing all of that, I was also ready to take my torch and pitchfork, furious at the idea that this supposedly open AI company, who was anti-censorship, ended up being even more censored than the other AI companies. I mean, this was the beginning of the end for Stable Diffusion. But then I started researching this a little bit more, trying to understand why they did that in the first place, and what I found is that we, the community as a whole, may have jumped to the wrong conclusion a little too fast. Now, everything that I'm going to say here is a bit of speculation based on the messages that Imad, the Stability AI CEO, has said on Discord about the whole Stable Diffusion 2.0 models. So, number one, they had a lot of legal issues these last few weeks, few months, that kept them from being able to release new models to the public. This is probably why we got the 1.5 so late, 
when we were supposed to get it much, much sooner. This is also probably linked to the fact that these models have basically everything inside, not safe for work, celebrities, popular artist names, etc, etc. And since this is a brand new tech, legislations are, as of right now, still thinking about how they can limit the use of this AI to the public, because if this tech would fall into the wrong hands, this could have very dire consequences. Also, don't forget that Stability AI is still a company, so if they get sued, their entire business could disappear faster than a Thanos finger snap. So creating an official, clean, base model to the public is probably the best way to go for the company in order to avoid a potential big lawsuit. Number two, ha, number two, Number two, Imed said that in the following weeks, they will release more models way more quickly now that they have solved the legal issues associated with releasing stable diffusion models to the public. So if you don't like how the 2.0 look like right now, well, wait maybe a week or two and you might not even have time to complain about it until the next better model comes out. The 2.0 model might just be a model that they released to announce to the community that they are finally ready to start the new chapter of the new stable diffusion journey. And number three, apparently everything that was taken out compared to the previous models could actually be easily fine-tuned back in by the community in the following weeks. And that with the right fine-tune, the 2.0 could actually be as good as mid-journey v4. And there is a keyword that he keeps using, and that keyword is fine-tune. And apparently, from what I understood, they will soon release to the public new tools that will allow anyone to train their own version of stable diffusion faster, cheaper, and better than what Dreambooth is capable of which is insanely cool if that's true. And I think that now we have finally all the pieces of the puzzle of why they did that. Here's what I think happened. Stability AI, not wanting to get a lawsuit, created a new clean and safe stable diffusion model for the public using a better tech than what was used to create the 1.5 ones and to allow the public to have as much freedom as before using these models, they would actually give them tools so that the public could fine-tune their own version of stable diffusion with any images or subjects they want, leaving the actual responsibility on the user not the stability AI company. So if someone trains a model of stable diffusion on celebrities, stability AI is not responsible for that because they didn't do that themselves. Some random guy on the internet did, which is not the same. This way, we will still have an even more powerful AI model, but this time stability AI is not responsible for what the tech is used for. And the Stable Diffusion 2.0 is apparently a way more solid base compared to the 1.0, which was prone to overfitting. Meaning that the 2.0 model, once we have the fine-tuned tools available, it could actually open new doors that we didn't know could be opened before. And that is really exciting. So as I say right now, you should probably not use the 2.0 model as is. There is absolutely no reason to. It's worse than any of the models you have right now, and also these models don't even work with the normal automatic 11.11 repository. So that means that if you want to use them, you need to get a special stable diffusion install without any basic interface. And that's really, really annoying. So if I were you, I would just wait a few weeks until we get a little bit more info, a little bit more tools before you start playing with it. And also wait until these models are compatible with the automatic 11.11 repository because as of right now, there is absolutely no reason whatsoever for using these models. Now, in this video, I will not show you how you can download and use them. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if this is really something that you want to see for some reason, because you really want to try them. 
And maybe I'll make that video next time. But maybe by the time I make that video, they will already be compatible with the automatic 11.11 repository anyway. So you know, if I were you, I would just wait a few days before trying them out, because you are really not missing much. And there we have it folks, a little bit of a shorter video today, sorry about that. And also don't be depressed about that whole 2.0 model. I think that way bigger things are coming very very soon and you should definitely be excited for that. And there you go, thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, especially in times like this. Thank you so much, you guys are absolutely awesome. Congratulations also to this week's AR Art Challenge winner CNC Geek for his amazing submission for the Opposites abstract theme. Nice image, very well done. And if you too want to participate to our AR Art Challenge that we do every week on Discord, you can click the link in the description down below to join my Discord server and maybe you too can be featured in the next video. That being said, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! <coughs>